aphids are really interesting in that they get active at such a low temperature, 50 degrees Fahrenheit, and you've got the green peach aphids already active. There really aren't any crops that they don't like very much. I, I Most of my experience are with uh, tomatoes, peppers, and cucumbers. They sure like all of them equally. Uh, they will do a really nice job of colonizing them. And so immediately, because uh, petunias are such a close relative of tomatoes and peppers, you know you're going to see them on petunias. And uh, there's just about every other thing we do in the greenhouse. Aphids can be a significant problem on, and it's all because you know, the little things are born pregnant. So you get one on there, and they start kicking out replacements. It's not so much the disease vectoring that is a problem with aphids, although they, they certainly can transmit viruses. It's largely in that they uh, will deplete plant resources as they suck out juices. And then the honeydew, their, uh, their exudate, is really good at growing sooty mold. And that for especially ornamental, sooty mold can be a real problem. But you'll see um, in tomato houses, you'll see the tomatoes will get sooty. It's just a, that's a that's a fungus that's growing on there because there's so much sugar water there. And it, it just really makes plants impossible to sell. Where a lot of growers will first recognize that they have an aphid problem is they'll see the white castings on the top of leaves and often I'll get the phone call that they think they have white flies. So the question I will ask them is, are they flying around? If you wave your hand over them, do they fly around? Or they just lay there and then look on the leaf above there. And usually you'll see an aphid colony taking off because they get active so early, 50 degrees Fahrenheit. And because they are born pregnant, they do a really nice job of filling up the, uh, the area that they're in. And they do it very, very quickly. The question is how to control them culturally and chemically. With cultural, we don't really have a lot of good controls. I've seen guys who will screen their houses. They'll put up the super fine mesh screening and you can screen them out. And as long as you can train your staff um, to keep the doors closed all the time, rapidly behind them, uh, screening can work really well. But small holes can be a problem, leaving doors open when you're loading stuff in and out. All of them um, pr produce uh, places for aphids to move in and out of. So the control all gets down to some version of chemical control or biological control. Marone cells, uh, Grandivo and Venerate, they can be the base of a, an aphid control program. And the good part about it is that they'll also give you control of Western flower thrips, white fly, spider mites, broad mice, cyclamen mites. But I don't like, especially for aphids, I don't like using them alone. They, uh, they have a suppressive nature to them but they're really not the way to clean up an aphid infestation by themselves. So aphids are still very sensitive to pyrethroids, especially the first time you whack them with them. So if you need a fast knockdown, you can tank mix um, any of the regular pyrethroids, or if you want to stay on the organic side, something like Pyganic or Azera with our materials, with Grandivo or Venerate, that tank mix will give you a long residual plus a fast knockdown.